Someone in a company with significant production daily volumes stated that their final manufacturing test non-conformance rate was out of control. I then asked what control chart technique is used to arrive at this conclusion. She responded, a p-chart. My response was, of course you think that your process is out of control. In this session, I'll describe first how to create 30,000 foot level chart for the high level non-conformance rate tracking of a process output response. Secondly, I'll show the advantages of a 30,000 foot level chart over a traditional p-chart which can show false out of control signals. The first agenda topic. A free 30,000 foot level reporting app is accessible through the link that's shown. I'll now demonstrate use of this app. When using this app, first you need to load your data set that you'll be analyzing. Today, I'm going to be analyzing example 13-01, which is taken from Integrated Enterprise Excellence, Volume 3. I'll be changing the chart type to attribute, since this is a failure rate that we'll be analyzing. I'm going to be highlighting the column type and column name, control C and then control V. You then will see a 30,000 foot level chart showing the upper right hand corner of this, this report out. Since our, since in our spreadsheet, our rate is in proportions, I'm changed that to a proportion rate. We'll now see an estimated rate to be about 2.1%. If this rate is not acceptable, then we need to go in and enhance our process. We need to make improvements. The second portion of this agenda will now be covered. For an explanation of a p-chart problems and their resolution using the free 30,000 full level app in www.smartsolutions.com, hover over resources and select forest favorites. If you were to do that, you would then see page shown here. We would then select p-chart issues and resolutions. Then that would lead us to the page that's shown on this slide. Now this particular web page describes the advantages of 30,000 foot level reporting over a traditional p-chart which can show false out of control signals. Now why is this? Well, basically, false out of control signals can occur in P chart since between subgroup variation is mathematically considered a special cause event trigger. From a high level process output perspective, between subgroup variation needs consideration as common cause variability, which a 30,000 foot level report out does. Unlike a P chart, a 30,000 foot level chart also includes a process capability statement in the same chart. 30,000 foot level charts can provide valuable never seen insight into virtually all processes. To see the power of this enhanced process output reporting technique for your situation, set up a free one half hour Zoom session for an application demonstration of a 30,000 foot level reporting or one of your Excel process output data sets.